What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder, trying to show off this Malamar team right here, a contrary Malamar. If you guys do not know what that does, any moves that lower Malamar stats will actually boost them, and anything that will boost the stats will lower it. So it can be used very well. So like superpower, if we use it, it usually lowers our stats, it will start to boost it, and eventually we will just turn into an absolute beast and be able to sweep out with a Malamar. This team also has an Eldegoss on it, and Eldegoss is so good, especially Especially with with its ability cotton down right here cotton down if somebody hits the Eldegoss every Pokemon on the field besides Eldegoss will have a speed drop so eventually Eldegoss will just be the fastest on the field be able to throw out sleep powder sleep seeds kick drain and palm pumps all that good stuff so Eldegoss can eventually just be a nice big pester Pokemon then we have our two big attackers our special attacker Duraldon with that assault vest and that big weakness policy T-Tar guys do not trigger that weakness policy you guys already know the deal he will murk on you those things are dangerous then we got the hitmon top in the bottom as a great lead with that fake out and chandelure as a trick room in prisoner right here great team this team looks like it's going to gel over well and be so much fun to play but guys if you do enjoy the content at any time make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously the support has been awesome i cannot thank you guys enough also let me know for question of the day are you guys going to be picking up the new pokemon mystery dungeon as the last question of the day in the last video was animal crossing those are two games that are coming out animal crossing and mystery dungeon that i will be picking up and probably playing on the channel and streaming it as well so i want you guys feedback let me know if you guys are picking it up or if you guys just want to see content on it but guys let's get rolling with this squad let's get rolling with the squad yes i want to borrow it we're gonna hop onto the rank ladder i forget what rank we are i know i was streaming yesterday if you haven't checked out my streams yet what are you doing head and link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch we stream four plus days every single week i'm actually gonna start streaming more and more as the new games release i'm still gonna be doing rank content but on like my off days i'm gonna actually start streaming more and do like animal crossing and like mystery dungeon like good stuff Let's go. Yeah, we want to see our opponent's team. Because sometimes I like to check it out at the end, depending on what it is. Depending on what it is. But here's our rank. We we lost our last match in the stream. So we are about 5,000 right here. Where's my squad at? I really do like Eldegoss and Contrary Malamar. So I think this team is going to be tons of fun to play with. So I'm hoping we, we can catch some wins with this. We are 118 and 10. Well, we can get our 120th win. That could be dope. That can honestly be dope. Battle number one on its way with this team. This guy has a Charizard team right here. Could be scary. Could be scary. Do I lead the Goss? Do I lead the Goss? I can see him going in with a Togekiss. I kind of want to go in with the Goss, but then I kind of do not want to go in with the Goss. Um, is this thing Flash Fire? Hold the phone. If this thing's Flash Fire. You're coming in with me. It is Flash Fire. Ooh. Okay, it is Flash Fire. So, I'm going to go Ch Ch Elder Goss. Hit him on top. I'm going to go Shandle. I think I'm... Do I know... Who do I want to go? I want to bring in some special attackers. I think I'm going to go Malmar Didon. I think I'm going to go Malmar Didon, to be honest. Maybe I should have not went Didon and went Malmar, or I should have went Titar into the Chandelure. I kind of should have brought that Chandelure because of that Flash Fire with that Charizard. That could have been huge. But he doesn't really have any Trick Room Pokemon. I can see him leading the Togekiss and the Charizard, something along those lines. But we're going to try to roll out here and get ourselves a big fat W. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm hype. I'm hype. I've been playing really good on the ladder as of recently, so... See if we can get, get ourselves another win. He goes into the Dragon Ball. It kind of threw me off. It had a dive ball. I was like, what is that? A dive ball right there. Okay. So, Intimidate pops. Clear body. That is nice for the extra drill. We are going to drop the extra drill stats right here. Is that thing Mole Breaker or Sand Rush? That is my question. It is Sand Rush. It is going to be a Sand Rush extra drill. Uh, I could set up the Leech Seed. The Leechy Seed. And I could fake out the, bum, 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 the extra drill. We'll set up the lead seat over on the Polchki, and we are going to fake out the extra drill. The like, extra drill, get out of here. I can see the potential swap from the extra drill or the Dynamax. It's an either-or situation here. I really do not know what he's going to go for. He might be able to drop a rock on me, set up the Sandstorm, which could be scary. But I'm going to try to get this lead seat set up and then potentially put some Pokemon to sleep. Maybe I should have went for the sleep right off the rip and then lead seat and start to regain some health. There's the, there's the withdrawal. See, I told you. I told you. The fake out's not going to do much, but we are going to be able to get off a lead seat unless he Dynamaxes. Let's shoot Dynamax. Pick out this pop. We're still going to do a little bit of damage over on the Grimmy Grim. There you go. Get a little bit of clap action. He's going to D-Dance here. So you got to go to sleep, my dude. You have to go to sleep, my dude. We have to put him to sleep. Get him out of here. <laughs> Need seeds coming through. Yeah, ye. You have been seated. You have been seated. So we're going to get a little bit of health back here, even though we're full health. And he's going to take a little bit. But he's got to go to sleep. That's a back. That's a straight back here. Um, bump, bump, bump. Sleeping. Go night, night, my dude. Uh, we could wide guard here. No, wide guard wouldn't do anything. Unless he really goes for dragon arts. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think I'm just going to drop a close combat because I think he's going to hit me. 
So I'm gonna drop a close combat here, deal some damage. Our stats are gonna drop, but I think he is going to hit me. Reflect this pop. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. No D Max. Dragon Call is gonna come out here. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Hit my top. Eject button's gonna pop. He's out of here. He's gone. And then Elagos is gonna put the Dragon Pulse to sleep, which could be huge. And then we could just start rolling out into a contrary Malmar. Like, I could go D Don. I honestly could go D Don here. And just Dynamax start rolling out. I could do that. I mean, isn't Dark super effective to him? Mm. I really do want to just start setting up, but D Don is our best option to just Dynamax him in that Assault Vest and take out the Pult in one shot. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna go out my way here. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, maybe we can do something different, show off the contrary Malmar a little bit, but this is a rank battle. Like, I gotta go into D Don here, play it, play it smart. They're trying to show it off as much. But he has to reflect up. I could go for the Steel Spike here and potentially see a swap. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Good palm puff. Hmm. What do I really want to do? Oh, I could double Leechy, can I? I believe I could double Leechy. We're going to try setting up a double Leechy here. And we're going to D-Max and go into a Max Darkness here. I think Max Darkness is our best bet instead of just going into a Dragon move. We can lower their Special Defense. Or I can just go into a Steel Spike over on you. Because if he swaps... Like, let me see his Pokemon real quick. If he swaps into... Say he has a Tokus. He probably thinks we're going for a dragon move. He might swap it to the Tokus. Try to eat it up. And we can just go into a nice steel spike and get super effective damage instead of just having no effect. So we're going to go in with that because it's a potential swap. I'm chilling here. Let's see if he swaps. Let's see what he does. But if I can get his dragon pulled out of the way, that could be a huge start. And, I'll, and then I can have a double lead seed rolling. Double lead seed could be huge. But I think this lead seed will go away once we take out this pull. Or if he swaps. Actually, I think if you swap, it's still there. I think you have to take out the other boss. I'm not too sure. I forget how it works. It kind of kind of confuses me sometimes. But let's see what happens. Is he going to swap the Poltsky? Now he's going to set up a light screen. No swap from the Poltsky. It's fine. That's fine. We'll get the defense boost. You are fast asleep, my dude. I'm going to set up another lead seed after we get off this steel spike. Boost our defense, which is going to be pretty nice. Are we going to take out? We're not going to take out. I can have my, uh, my Elder Gloss take that out after this. With a nice little pollen puff. With a nice little pollen puff to finish it off. And the second lead seed is going to fly through. Yeah, the double lead seed. Actually, the lead seed will just take it out. So we can say he's still asleep. Did we say he sleeps this turn? I can totally say he, that thing sleeps this turn. And uh, the thing takes him out. Actually, that's a three turn sleep. That's that's a big amount. But either way, he's going to get a shot off. So it's like, it's like, what do I really do here? Um, I could put the Grim and Grim to sleep. Or if he gets a shot off, I wonder what he's going to do. If he gets a shot off, I could palm puff my Duraldon. But I feel like if he gets a shot off, he's going for my Duraldon here. So yeah, watch this. We're going to say he wakes up. This is just in case he wakes up. And then we're just going to uh, Steel Spike over on the Grimmy Grim. And be able to take out the Grim Snarl. See what happens. T-Wave pops here. Oof! Ooh! I'm surprised he didn't go for that in the beginning. Now let's see what happens. He does wake up. He's going to go for a Dragon Claw into my Duraldon. Good call by me. Good call by me. Palm puff's going to put us back up to full health. Yeah, you give me that. Give me that. See, I was gonna say there, there's no way he's going for a three turns sleep. So steel spike. What what happened here? Oh, but beery berry. I was like, whoa, why is it lagging? Because usually when it like it doesn't lag, it just like stops for a second. It means you're like missing an attack. I was like, there's no way we're missing an attack. So there we go. Dragon Bolt's gonna go down here to the lead seed. Um, Weechi will eventually take out the Grimstarl, and we'll be able to get off a nice little shot on the the next Pokemon he throws out. Not to worry about the Beery Berry. Look at this. Double Lead Seed. I'm going to set up a Lead Seed on the next Pokemon too as well. Or I might just put it to sleep. It really depends who he goes out into. He might go out into a Charizard. Could be scary. I do have a Max Lightning, which could be pretty solid. I'd rather put a Charizard to sleep. Look at that, dude. Lead Seed is huge. Double Lead Seed. Eligoss. Stop it. Eligoss. Knock it off. We do get the pull out the way. I wonder who he's rocking. He has the extra drill, of course. Um, Do we think he's D-Maxing? He's got to be D-Maxing. We're going to put that thing to sleep. And I'm going to just drop a bum, 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 bum. I could darkness here and get the special defense stat lowered. Or I could just drop his attack all around. I kind of want to drop his attack. I feel like that could be more beneficial than not beneficial. Or I could drop their special defense. Ooh! I mean, who do we have in the back? Do we have any special attackers in the back? End? Uh, no. They're just physical. So special defense only is going to help out these two Pokemon. And he can probably just dump on my one. So, I'm thinking, actually, a defense boost could be tight, nice. 
and just take you out. And then eventually put that to sleep. Leech Seed up on another Pokemon after that. Battle was canceled. There we go. We take that. I'll take that right there. Nice little first match there. That's dope. That's dope. Let's go. Man, we're playing that very well. We got double Leech Seed up. We had a Duraldon out there doing some work, and we ended up getting that win. Trying to push back up to the 5,000s like you guys saw in the beginning of the video that we were a little bit above 5,000 But like I said, we lagged out of a match connection went bad and we actually dropped down to like 6,000 But now we're sitting at 5,495 in battle number two in battle number two. Let's get it Let's go. Okay. Um This kind of looks a little similar to his last team to the last team that we just first a little bit Just a little bit with the Dragapult and all that it's a Gastron, no water, so I'm not worried about the Gastron too, too much. I could see him going setting up with the Tailwind, maybe the Aurora Veil, something along those lines. I actually might lead the Contrary Malmar. Hmm. Do I lead the Contrary Malmar? I could totally see him leading Eldegoss. I mean, not Eldegoss, the Arcanine. <laughs> Do we bring Eldegoss here? Eldegoss was so clutch. Eldegoss is so clutch. It's just so good. I mean, I feel like Eldegoss kind of gets uh, bodied by a lot of these Pokemon. Like the Arcanine, the Corviknight. The vanilla, so maybe it's not the good call. Maybe we should just go hit him on top into Malamar, Chandelure, and then do we bring another special attacker with Dion once again? I mean, he is pretty special attacking, and I can see a Dragon Ball being a special attacker instead of a physical. It was either Dion or Titar. D Don or Titar. Like how we just used the first letter of the, that those two Pokemon, and then the last three, so it's D Don and Titar. <laughs> I kind of like that. Uh, does he have a lot to trigger my weakness policy? I mean, water. Ice. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Maybe fighting on the Corbell? Um, I'm going to go Duraldon. I really am going to go Duraldon. Considering we have the Malmar in the back end, who can be a big physical attacker if we can get a superpower set up. And we can kind of just roll out from there. But we do have the Hitman top as the lead. That's a wide guard for Heat Wave. That can be tight nice. Maybe I should have led the Elder Claws and brought the Hitman top. Wide guard instead of fake out and sleep powder predicting the heat wave. That could have been tight. Nice. Let's see who he goes into. Does he go into Arcanine? He does not. So it actually kind of works out here. Wide guard could be good. Do I wide guard right off the rip? Or I think I'm going to. Hmm, what am I going to do here? Snow warning this pop. I could fake out the Vanellix to prevent the Aurora Veil from happening. Intimidate is going to pop here. Is this in clear bodied or is it infiltrate? It's got to be clear bodied. Yeah, clear bodied. I was going to say, not, not very, very many people use infiltrate in this high of a ranking. But do we go for the wide guard? I say we just fake this thing out. I say we fake this thing out, to be honest. And I say we just drop a, uh, we do this. We could do this. Hold the phone. Hold up. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought the close combat said it's, okay, never mind. Close combat is super effective. I was going to say. I was going to say, I thought the close combat was, like, normally effective, but my superpower was super tight. I was like, wait a minute, what is going on here? Uh, do I roll out with a superpower, or do I see him going after me? Uh, I might just protect turn one. No, 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 no. I said we superpower this thing. I said we boost our stats. Because if we get our stats boosted, we can eventually just dump on this team. He's going to Dynamax. Ooh! He's going to Dynamax! We are going to be able to get a fake off on the Vanalix. Please show me he's uh, Dynamax into Ice Cream Cones. That would be honestly hilarious. No, no big ice cream cones. No ice cream for all. We're going to see that typical big boy Dragapult. Dragapult's sick, dude. I always love this design. Right when I saw it, before the game even came out, I was like, bruh, I need this Pokemon. I need him. But fake out pops. Yeah, yeet. Little bit of clap action. You're not moving, my dude. No reward veils for you. And here comes the worm win over on my top, please. Nope, my Malmar. My Malmar will be able to eat that up. You got to boost our attack. Oh, I'm Dynamax next turn. I'm Dynamax next turn. We're going to get some huge stat boosts here. Oh, Malamar. Stop it. Citrus Berry Pops. We could potentially take out the... What's it called here? We could potentially take out the... The Vanellix here. Let's go. Let's get it. Five Vanellix. Oh, big damage. Give me that contrary action. What are we? Plus two on the attack board now? And our defense is boosted? Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. We are Dynamaxing the Malamar right here right now. Hale's okay, going to buff it out here. Uh, what do we think is going to happen? I know we're like half health, but I feel like the Dynamax is going to be tight nice. Look, it is going to be tight nice. Buff its pop. Look at the dude. Hit my top slow. Strider. Look at him. Mm, yeah. Get it. Back kick. Back kick. Back kick. Yeah. Toe touch. Yeah. Get it. I love the claws on his feet too. They're dope. Imagine getting kicked by that boy. Just shred you up. We'll just shred you up. He goes into the Corviknight. The Corviknight does get the lead. Well, not the lead. Gets out there. And I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to dump on this thing. Uh, bump, 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 bump. 
I think I am gonna go. Oh, I could swap. I could swap. Like, you're not hitting me. Actually, you might hit me. I could go into my D down here. <laughs> I am gonna swap into my D down here. I am going to Dynamax this Malamar. Malamar, go into a Max Darkness. And get him. We are, what are we, plus two on the attack board? Plus one on the defense board? Be huge damage. This will totally take out this pole in one shot. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Because we should be able to eat up a shot. And all I need to do is get rid of this Dragon Pole. If I can get rid of this Dragon Pole, it is basically game over. It is basically 2-0 oh with this squad. Because we have some big damage. We have some big damage coming in here. We have our special attacker, Duraldon, in the back. We have our Chandelure as well. So I'm not even worried about the Corviknight. My Chandelure will be able to dump on the Corvo easily with a Heat Wave. Be able to do some mean damage to it. But what's going to happen here? A Wormwind's going to fly out again. Like, we eat this up all day. And now the problem is, do we eat up a Corviknight shot? What do, what's the Corviknight going to do? Oh, you're boosting our attack again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Show me my Malmar's faster. No, Brave Bird's popping. Ooh. Malmar eats. Okay, cool. Dragapult is definitely gone here. Bye, Dragapult. You are out of here. Stab Max Darkness plus three on the attack board. Boop. <laughs> Contrary, Malmar, dude. So good. So good. And you can drop my attack all day. Go ahead, mirror armor me. I will boost my special defense as well. That is type nice. That is type nice. You lowered my Duraldon's attack, but we are special attacking. That is huge. That is huge. Uh, how do I roll in from here? Buffets are going to fly. I kind of want to get the Corv Knight. I, like I said, I'm not really too worried about the Corv Knight. It really depends on who this last Pokemon is. Because Malmar can eat up a Brave Bird. Hopefully he's faster than whatever Pokemon he throws out. But we are chilling here. Who is this? Who is this Pokemon? It is the Gastrodon. Okay. The Gastrodon. Probably going to go for an Earth Power. I am totally going to... Who do I really want out the way? I really want the Gastrodon out the way. The Gastrodon. Let me just Dark Pulse up on the Gastro. I mean, I can totally see a... Uh, Hey, what's it called pop here, though? I can see a Protect popping out from him from the Gastron, but we're still going to double into it. A Brave Bird does pop. We should be able to eat that up. Yep, Gastron is not outspeeding any of our Pokemon. Gastron will go down. He did not Protect. Bye-bye, Gastron. Dark Pulse. We're doubling into this thing. Get him! Get him! This game's over with. This game's over with. Another big Max Darkness here. Going to boost our Special Defense once again. Bye, Gastron. Told you. Big problem once you get a Superpower set up in that Mirror Armor. Thank you very much boosting our stats. Oh, I gotta show you guys my stats before this match ends. And now we do have T-Bolt on our, our Duraldon, too, for super effective damage up against this Corviknight. Potential Paralyze. Oh, we are chilling. We are chilling. We're gonna take out my Malmar here. That's totally fine. That is totally fine, my dude. Let's see. Let me see your Malmar stats before we go out. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Look at these stats. Plus three attack, plus one defense, plus two special defense. Come on. You're not taking me out. You're done. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Got this one in the bag. GG. I'm a do I even guard? I mean, I could just uh, I'll I'll, I'll guard. I'll have some fun with it because he's gonna try to take out my Malmar. Or is he just gonna cancel? There we go. Two and oh, baby. Two and oh. Two and oh. That's dope. Let's see our rank now. We're gonna hop into a third and final battle for this video for the rank battles. It's dope, dude. This team, this team is so much fun. We got to show off the nice little Eldegoss, the Malmar. We didn't really get to show off the Titar yet, but. Like I said, Titar we always use. We are always using Titar. We got ourselves a rare candy as well. Yes, I want to continue battling. We are going to go above 5,000 once again. I've been stuck just like in the 5,000 to like 1,000 range. Haven't been able to push over 1,000 just yet. But I'm hoping we can very, very soon. I think this week is going to be the week. We have a Sandstorm team for the third and final battle. If you guys are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Malamar Squad in the comment section down below. I'd love to know who hangs out and who watches the videos all the way through. But... Okay, so he has the Sandstream, he has the Sandstream, he has the Togekiss, the Rotom, um, bum, bum, bum. I think a good lead could be our Gossy Goss, could be our Gossy Goss, yeah, let's go Eldy Goss, uh, we could go Hitmontop in it, I, th I said we go Hitmontop in it, in case he does lead those physical attackers, drop with the Intimidate, um, bum, bum, bum. who's in the back, we could, I want Malmar, I want Malmar up in here, and then Titar, I said we go Titar, let's go Titar, let's go not really a lot of special attackers here, but I think we're chilling without a special attacker. I really do think we're just dandy. I really do like that Malmar if we can boost that stats like we showed off in that last battle. Like, jeez, man. That thing's set up. Once he hit me with that Max Wormwind, it was just like, oh, that's actually boosting our attack. We just went off. We are just like, thank you for the attack boost. Built, built, built. Just three one-taps. Was it three? Might have been three one-taps. Or two one-taps. We were just knocking Pokemon out left and right. But let's go. Togekiss and Rotom goes in. Smart play by him to kind of neglect the... 
but what's called the, intim the Intimidate, because these are both special attackers. And I could go for Elite Team. I might just set up a Seed of the Legion. And I'm going to fake out the Tokus. Each Seed. So I can potentially see him swapping out the... The Rotom? The Rotom. The Rotom. Maybe seeing me going for a Giga Drain, but I'm just going to Elite Seed. Hoping he swaps out here and potentially get a double Leech Seed set up and just health from both angles. Just mwah, 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 mwah. Heal me up. Heal me up and do damage to them. And the strut is back. Look at my dude. Look at my dude hit my top. Just uh. Come on, where's he at? Yeah, look at him. Uh, yeah, back step. Yeah, back step. Mm, yeah, sir. Back step. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. He's just strutting with those spear palms, dude. Like I said when we did the hit on top video. Imagine getting rocked by that thing. I think it will knock you out in one punch. Just a spear palm. Looks like a boulder coming at you. Right to the side of the head, like, Mwah. Bro, you Dynamaxing that Togito? Shouldn't put you to sleep. He's Dynamaxing the Togekiss, just, unless he's going Rotom. Okay, Rotom, I mean, that's fine. Trying to set out the water? The rain? And that's fine. Togekiss will not get a turn. We will Leech Seed that up. Or are you going to go for a Lightning on us? The Fake Out's going to pop, and then you're probably going to eject button us out, maybe. Let's see, ooh, look at that. A little spin top. Fake you out. Darkness coming through. Oh my gosh. That's fine. Gosh should be able to eat. Yeah, Gosh eats that. Leech Seed is going to pop, which is nice. Cotton Down is going to go all, all around. Go ahead. My special defense drops. Yo, give me a little bit of health back. You guys all slow down. Which is chilling. Drop my speed like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. I wish Cotton Down only worked against the two opponents, Pokemon, but it does work out good. Leech Seed pops. Um, they are probably slower now. I might just put that Rotom to sleep. Might just put that Rotom to sleep. And potentially swap my hip on top. I mean, air is super effective too. My glossy gloss. So, I am just going to put you to sleep here. And then I could go for a, bum, 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 a wide guard in case a heat wave does pop through. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for a wide guard. Because I can see either a Dazzling Beam or maybe a heat wave flying through. Let's see what happens here. Wide guard, show it to me. That'll be a nice little call by me. Wide guards are tough to pull off. Sleep powder comes through. Mwah! Go to bed. Close your eyes. It annoys me that the road times do not close their eyes when they're going to sleep. Fast asleep. Show me you're going for a gleam or heat wave, please. Gleam. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Big wide guard. That was a clutch wide guard there. I can put the token kiss to sleep now, and I can start. Uh, I can get a free swap out. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge. This is a nice little play. I'm going to leech seed up here. No, I got I to sleep this thing. Actually, no, I don't. I'm going to leech seed you. I'm going to go Pokemans. I'm going to swap it to my contrary Malamar. Do I swap it to my contrary Malamar? Start socking on that thing. And then put it to sleep next turn. Let's do it. Let's do it. We could have Y-guarded it again. That could have been type nice. But we can get the double leech seed set up. Ooh, wait. I could have just Y-guarded again, probably. Leech Seed pops. Look at that. Double Leech Seed. We got health from both angles. You're not taking out my boy. Fast asleep. And now we're going to start teeing off. We're going to start teeing off. That's going to be... See, I told you I could have wide guarded again. Now Marsh going to take some damage here. It's chilling. Cotton Down's going to pop. Um, What is the play here? I kind of... Maybe I don't want to go for superpower. But we are going to boost our speed, which is nice. That Cotton Down contrary. Type nice. One, 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 one. Nice. Give me all that health. Look how much Elder Gloss is going to go up to. 89... Wait, we have two Leech Seeds coming here. We got 107. There's another one. <laughs> and now I'm going to put the Toad Kiss to sleep. I'm going to put the Toad Kiss to sleep. I'm going to go for a superpower over on that Rotom. Over on that Rotom. Look at that. Wasted out that Dynamax turn. We went from 89 to what are we at? A little bit of 130 action. Uh, I'm going to make sure that thing goes down. And I'm going to go back to full health. Or I can just throw you to sleep. I'm going to go for a superpower. Over on the road time just to boost our attack and defensive stats. Ally switch, that's totally fine. I mean, that was actually a really good ally switch, to be honest with you. We still have the double thing going on. Go. Boop, 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 boop. A little bit of damage, but we're going to get the stat boost. Crit, that was a crit, too. That did, like, nothing. <laughs> attack and defense boost there. Sleep powder pops. Oh, he's already asleep. And now he wakes up. Oh, no. Hydro pump comes out. Going to take out my Malamar, probably. Let's see. Eat it up, Mally. Show him. Show him what's good. Nope. Now Mar faints. Okay, that's totally fine. We still have the double lead seed. We still have the double lead seed. And that thing is life for Look at that. Give me that. Gonna possibly go back to full health here. 
Double leech seed with the Gauss, my dudes. Dude, can we go 3 and 0, oh, baby? We are rocking out here. We are rocking out here. Look at that. Double leech seed. Give me all that health, though. Give me all that health. The Gauss, dude. Double leech seed is tight. Nice. Oh, my lord. Full health. Him on top could roll out. We could go for a fake out. Bro, I'm just rolling with my T-Tar. I'm gonna get my T-Tar going. I'm gonna Dynamax my T-Tar. Drop a rock on somebody. Whoever wants the rock is getting it. They can trigger my weakness policy. Go for it, my dude. Sandstream. Uh, do we put a Pokemon to sleep? Like, rock's gonna do big damage to whoever. So I say we just go sleepy here over on you. And then we just drop a rock over on the Rotom. And go, go from there. Go from there. But I'm really not too worried about the, the Togekiss too, too much. He wasted his Dynamax. We got to sleep. We have double lead sheets. Oh my lord! This team! I think Elder Gloss is one of the best new Pokemon. I think it's so good. I think it's so good with that Cotton Down ability. And just like its moves I can get, its synthesis. I wish this one did have synthesis, but lead seed works good. Synth synthesis for health. You have. Oh, follow me's gonna pop. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. It's fine. We'll put we'll, we'll put the Rotom to sleep now. It's fine because this guy will go first. Let's go. Bye to Tokus. Go on. Rotom's gonna go to sleep. But like the move, like I was saying, the move set that the Elder Gloss usually well, that the moves that it can learn that are really good is synthesis, has leech seed, sleep powder. Oh my lord. Did we miss? Oh my god, we missed the sleep powder. What do you mean? Dark Pulse is gonna roll out here. Elder Gloss will eat that up, no problem. And then the leech seed's gonna start popping over here. Cotton down's fine through. Uh, do I sleep somebody or do I leech seed up again? I think I might just leech seed up again. <laughs> because leech seed's type nice. Oh, did the leech seed go away? Did the leech seed go away or does it happen at the end? Nope, there it is. There it is. Give me your health, man. Give me your health. Bring this up to 88, maybe? Is it 18 every time or is it, does it depend? 98. Yeah, yeah, 98. That's that. I, I did a quick math wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 18 every time. Or no, I think it depends. It might be a certain percentage of the dude's health. But Polsky's gonna pop here. Oh, you're gonna get leech seed, my dude. You get a leech seed. You get a leech seed. You all get a leech seed. And now we can go for a. Uh... Oh, if he goes to do a Phantom Force. Don't you do it. Don't you do me dirty. Mm -mm. <laughs> I always second guess myself. Once I hit that button to confirm my attack, I'm like, oh no, he's gonna do this. But I should just sit back and, like, okay, he could go for this. He could do this. Kind of weigh out my options. Let's go for a Phantom. Just for an ally switch. You have ally switch as well. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll dump on the Rotom. I mean, Leech Seed's not gonna work. Grand Call's gonna pop here. Unless my What's Call takes him out. My T Tar takes this thing out. But it probably is not. Oh, it does go first. It's going first here. I'm surprised Elder Gloss not, isn't out speeding it. But beautiful. We take that out. Leech Seed's gonna slide over. A little bit of slide over Leech Seed. And three no's looking pretty good for us, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. My fault. My fault. Ladies and gentlemen. Three no's looking good for us. Wait, Elder Gloss didn't get the Leech Seed off? Wait, what happened? What, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I missed I missed it. I missed it. Maybe it doesn't affect the pole team. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, who's going to sleep? You're going to sleep. We're going to put you to sleep, and we're just going to darkness over on you. Gotta roll off from here. La, 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 la. What are you going for, my dude? Try and call. Leave my Goss alone. Goss, no! Cotton Down's going to pop. Clear body's going to go into effect. Oh, uh, my T-Tar should... Actually, the Conqueror might go first, but I don't see him killing us, even with a close combat. Let's see us eating that up. And then taking out the Pulse from here, and then rolling out with our Hitmon top. Dream Punch comes through. Bro, that killed us! Why did I jinx myself? No! We're gonna lose! <laughs> Dude, I always jinx myself. I'm like, three nose looking good. Man! We're probably gonna lose now. Dude, I thought we were taking him out. Okay, we still have the Hitmon top. Is Hitmon top our last Mon? Come on, hit my top. Clutch it up for us, boy. <laughs> no way. Yo, GG to this guy. Man, just when I think we have it in the bag. I always, like, second-guess myself. Well, not second-guess myself. I always, like, say that, like, the match is over. Like, we have it in the bag. And then we lose. Like, we did that last video to the, what's it called? To the Intimidate. Well, not Intimidate. To the Arcanine. The Arcanine clutched it up for them. But, dude, I thought we had this one. He just double-killed us. Wow, GG, GG.
Just when I think we have it in the bag, we do not. Gene second guesses himself again. We got two and one. That's pretty solid with this team. Malamar was tons of fun to play with. That contrary Malamar is always a good old time. Same thing with that Elder Gloss with the Sleep Powder and the Leech Seeds and all that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.